10 players scored five in double figures. Talk just a little bit about how you played overall. I thought we did some really good things, you know, on, on the offensive end. I mean, too, too many turnovers, but I really like the pace that we played at. That's something we've talked a lot about. Our conditioning, honestly, in the last two weeks, 10 days or two weeks, has gotten better because uh, I think this team has depth. When we have potential to play at a fast pace, we've got some capable offensive guys. Uh, we just got to take better care of the basketball. Uh, it looks like you've got, uh, you mentioned by depth, it looks like you've got a lot more um, uh, ability with different players than you had last year, to, subbing in with depth in that. Um, what do you like about that, the ability to interchange players a lot? I think it helps. I mean, like, you know, tonight we had two guys out with injury, uh, next man up. You know, we had so other people were ready, stepped in. I thought we did some good things that way. You know, obviously it makes our practices competitive, and that's where you really grow and where you get better, you know, on a day-to-day -day in practice. And, and that's something, again, we, we're making steps forward, I think, in those areas, practicing a little harder, practicing a little better. Again, we just got to compete on the defensive end from start to finish. You know, a uh, game like that, I give Brescia a lot of credit because they compete at start to finish. You know, the reality, we've not played with a lead very much. Um, so that's something that's that's part of our growth. Hopefully, we'll be in that position this year. That's something we got to learn from. Is it is it fair to say this? Uh, you got a new attitude, new look on this team, or how how would you characterize this? Yeah, I mean, I love the personality of this team. I mean, these guys want to really enjoy each other. You know, off the court, um, they're they're spending time together. You know, away from here, which is always a good thing. But I definitely think the personality is is, is changed. This team expects to win ball games. Uh, and, and they got that competitive fire, which is good to see as a coach. Uh, Daniel Kinchin really came in and, and, and sparked you today in that one run and got things going. What uh, what did you like about what he did today and what can he bring to the team? Uh, he can do that. I mean, honestly, he missed a lot of shots that he normally makes. So he did some good things tonight. I mean, it's always, you know, you got some jitters in there somewhere, you know, your first game or two. I thought he stepped up and made some plays for us. You know, he brings energy. And he's got good versatility, uh, which, again, is something that uh, we'll be able to utilize, I think, well. And Brandon had uh, 12 and six rebounds. I think that ties his career high. Made all five of his shots. Talk a little bit about his game. You know, the, the one thing that Brandon – Brandon's a, a very talented ball player. And you guys know that as well as I do. Brandon's motor ran start to finish. He just played hard, you know. And that, that's not to, to knock his ability or talent or skill or anything like that. But when, when guys like Brandon right here – play with that level of intensity, positive things are going to happen for him. And J uh, uh, Jalen, uh, big game, 19 points, 7 rebounds. Talk a little bit about what he did today. I mean, he was a senior for us. He stepped up, he made plays. You know, he came off the bench, he brought some energy um, and, and, and made some basketball winning plays for us. You know, he did what he does. I mean, Jalen Henry, in my mind, is, is capable of being all he got. You know, he played like that tonight, especially on the offensive end. we got to get him competing a little bit harder defensively and on the glass, but, you know, it's, it's a major step in the right direction for him. Uh, you said you had two guys out. Uh, McFarlane was one of them? Yes. Back spasms? Or? Yes. Okay. Will he be ready Friday? or? Uh, we hope so. Okay. I'm not sure. Who and, else? And who else? Uh, Bill Witt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, had, he, had, he had an ankle. Okay. Yeah. But among the, especially among the guys that are back from last year, obviously there's a lot of motivation. Guys like Jalen who've been with the program a couple of years, there's obviously a lot of motivation to kind of prove what this team can do and kind of take that next step. Just talk about what those guys are kind of looking forward to do. They obviously want to gain some respect for this program. Yeah, I mean, they're, again, they're, they're excited. I mean, our two seniors, guys that have been with me from day one, Jalen and, and Keenan, they want to be able to leave a legacy in this program. They want to be able to establish a foundation, which they, I mean, they've, They've done that part for us. Now we got to take a step forward and turn that into some wins. You know, and that's something that, that hopefully in this program, if we can do what we need to do, they'll always be remembered for that. And things like that preseason poll, obviously things like that can be motivation for you too. People, they want to show what these, this team's capable of doing. Yeah, I mean, we, honestly, we don't, we don't talk a lot about it, put a lot of stock in those rankings. I mean, I think it's, you know, it, it gets conversation going from a media standpoint. Uh, we're picked last. I mean, there's, there's some motivation in there. But, again, we try try not to get caught up in, in um, external, you know, affairs and those sorts of things. We keep everything in-house, and uh, we know what we're capable of doing. So, I mean, it's a day-to-day it's -day grind for us. 
Jalen, what do you see about this team this year? Uh, is, is it fair to say you have a new attitude, new outlook, a new look? There's obviously a new look for the team with a lot of different players. How do you size that up? Uh, I mean, this team uh, is just scratching the surface, like Coach said. Like, we have so much potential, and uh, we didn't play our best game today, but I feel like we're going to get after in practice and uh, really get better as a team in general. It sounds like you guys uh, believe in yourselves, too, that you can win and have a good season. Yeah, uh, every day in practice, uh, that's the goal, just go out and win ball games, And uh, as a team together, we all believe that. Okay. Brandon, talk about your performance today and what you expect to contribute to the team this year. Um, just energy, like Coach said, bring energy to the floor. Okay. Was this uh, uh, tied your career high in 12? Do you think it was one of your better games? Um, definitely, but like, like Coach and, and Jalen said, we're only scratching the surface. We're going to get better from here. Okay. Daniel, how about you? First game here and everything, the a little nervous maybe or a little anxious or just want to get out there and play. And he did some big things, that 11-0 run. You had a seven points and you had a steal in the basket and a three-pointer. What do you bring to this team? Um, I feel like I can space the court, uh, bring energy to the, to the team, pick up the energy when we need it, and um, just make plays offensively and defensively. <clears throat> Do you see a lot of uh, depth on this team, a lot of competition between you guys? I mean, in a good way, where you're all, you know, competing for time yes, and to do the best you can. Yes. Uh, every day in practice, we go at we go at each other. We gotta, you know, it's plenty of depth on the team, plenty of players that can you get your spot took any day. So you gotta go hard every day. It, for all three of you guys, it's a good way to start. I mean, last year was sort of tough, but I mean, you get off it's an exhibition game, but you get off with a win. Pretty convincing win. What what do you take from this game? Uh, basically, just learn from what we did wrong and uh, really focus on practice and use this momentum to you play even harder for the games to come. Coach, looking back, you know, last year, anything that's particularly seen from last year, the things that feel like you can do better as a team this year, more consistently, that are going to make a difference with you, especially with kind of a new group of personnel. Uh, you know, we've got to shore up our turnovers. We turned the ball over a lot last year. We obviously turned the ball over a lot tonight. Um, so that, that's the one thing that we've got to get better with. You know, in other areas, I thought we, we've consistently competed defensively and on the glass. And I really think we've done a good job with that. We just haven't had enough scoring, honestly, especially late in games. You know, I, I don't think this will be an issue. I don't think that will be an issue this year. Uh, time will tell. But I think we've got some, some capable guys on the offensive end. Now, we're, we're playing catch up on D. You know, we're, we're further, we're behind where we were a year ago, in my mind, defensively with this team. So we've got to shore some things up in, in practice. But that will be the difference for us. You know, if we can get to the same level defensively and, and rebound the ball a little bit better, you know, I think we'll, we'll, that will translate to wins for us. John, with having a little more depth, what are some things you can do with that that you might not have been able to do last year? Play up and down. I mean, again, I, I like the pace that we played at tonight. I really do. And I think depth gives us that option. You know, we'll press a little bit more. You know, years past we've pressed, but only – to play catch up only if we've been losing. We're going to try to press to force and control the, the pace and tempo of the game. You know, this year I think depth allows you to do that. You know, and, and uh, hopefully we can not follow at the level that we did tonight. But again, if, we, if we've got some guys in foul trouble, I think we've got bodies that can, again, play with that next man up mentality. Um, and and uh, still, we can stay the course and find ways to win games. And obviously coming up against a Big Ten team coming up here against Purdue, but how big is this going to be for the test for you just to kind of get you into the season to kind of show what you need to work on and just maybe, you know, if you play well against Purdue, how big a confidence boost could you guys have for that? It'll be a great opportunity for us. I mean, something we're really excited about. I mean, Purdue is a top two or three Big Ten team, top team in America. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, we'll have to play our A game. But again, I think as a ball player, that's what you want. You know, I mean, from a recruiting standpoint, that's something that we sell is our schedule. You know, we, we, don't, uh, we, we don't play any games that are gimme type games. I mean, every game you got to lay some up and play, you know, and we play a very competitive schedule. But again, I think that's what these guys, that's what you live for. I mean, again, you want to gauge yourself against the best. Purdue is one of the best, I mean, in, in the country, not just in the Big Ten. So, you know, it's something that uh, we're, we're going to have to be a lot better than what we were tonight. But uh, again, we're excited for the challenge. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it.